So we are outside right now because earlier I noticed some of our peas are ready to pick. Um, these are sweet peas. Our kids actually really love these. So we decided to try some out this year. Two different varieties. And my... Those ones aren't ready. Um, unfortunately, we did not get them put up properly to properly vine. So they're kind of struggling right now. But let me see if I can show you. So these are our peas that just, they did not vine very well. But look at how wonderful these look. These are shelling peas. So there's a little extra work for taking care of these guys because you actually have to shell them and all of that, which is fine because these are peas that our kids actually really like. So I am not going to complain one bit about doing some extra work. And then these ones are the same thing. These are a shelling pea as well, but these are a king tut. And what's cool about these is they're purple. Those are really big. These are a purple pod that are green inside. So it's really cool. As you can tell, our chickens are like, give me some, give me some. But that is what we are doing right now is coming out here and picking as many of them up that we can that are ready. Hello girls. And then this is our garlic and the kids actually came through yesterday and bent this down and the reason we do that by bending down the stalks is it actually forces more nutrients into the bulb to help them get bigger. These are all hard neck garlic. So these are going to kind of take a little longer. Those kind of, they're a lot harder, they're hardier, but this is something I learned is by bending the stalks, it helps the garlic. So that is what we've been doing. Today, I'm actually working on our front gardens because they desperately need some work. They are covered in weeds and some of the plants are actually getting choked out by because of the weeds. So that is my goal today, is just getting our front garden plants all perfect, good again. garden beds in the front were actually overrun with weeds and grass so I have spent the last several months trying to clear that out so that they have a little bit better curb appeal for the future to sell the house and everything so Like this poor plant here. 
don't remember what this one is called right now. But this should have already bushed out and filled in a bunch of this space. But because I haven't had a chance to come out here and weed the garden, unfortunately, things got stunted a little bit. So now this bed is finally all cleaned out and our goal is to get this completely filled with flowers but the problem is is we're doing this on a very tight budget and that plant right there got choked out by weeds and so it didn't get to spread like it should have so what we're gonna actually do is we have a whole bunch of pachysandra growing wild in our back forest so we're probably gonna take some of that bring it up here to fill in just to make it green in this area and now on to the next bed so now the fun task is this bed this one is not nearly as bad as the one that was over there but still needs some work so first up weed whack around the edges to make it look nice Too, and most people would probably pull those just because they just don't want them. They consider them a weed and stuff. We don't. I love them and they're one of my mom's favorite plants. Um, so those have a home permanently in our garden. We do have a tree attempting to grow in here with our other tree. It's time to cut that sucker out. rhododendron brush here which is beautiful it flowers lovely it's amazing I love it um, however it's taking over and we have a hydrangea on either side of it that got planted too early and it's getting choked out the hydrangeas are not able to grow and reach their full potential because this is so big now so I'm gonna actually trim this back the problem is, is it's probably too late to do that because I do see some buds appearing on it. However, it needs to get done. I probably should have done this a couple weeks ago, but I was sick, things like that, things happen. Um, so I'm gonna do it now. We're gonna get this cleaned up and then the hydrangeas are gonna actually get taken to my mom who needs some anyways. And then that will open up some space to, for the hydrangeas because they'll have nice fresh dirt and more space to grow.
So, wow, that sun is bright. So both of our my cameras actually died, so I couldn't finish filming what we did. But I got this rhododendron trimmed up a bit. Um, I kind of trimmed it up to grow higher, more than big and bushy, at least for now. So that we can, I already talked about this, but so we can get these two hydrangeas out a little bit easier. Because those are going to head to my mom's house to get finished. This one you did see managed to get all the weeds from around that area completely done. You at least saw part of it. Those are done. This garden bed I am still kind of working on. I got about half of it done. Um, so this I will continue. It's just it got it's right now too hot so I'm gonna go inside until it cools off a little bit. This garden bed I'm probably gonna have to wait till tomorrow and then I'll do this. Um, and that one has a bunch of really pretty plants in there that I desperately need to get opened up and cleared up. Then this garden bed, you saw most of it. This is completely cleared up as well. It looks wonderful. I'm probably going to be taking some pachysandra I have at the back um, and transferring it up here to plant. Um, our lilac bush is going to need some trimming now that the flowers have gone away I'm going to take that and I'm going to trim it into more of a circle um well a sphere orb whatever you want to call it but the front gardens are starting to look a little bit cleaner that was my goal and I'm gonna go inside and do some work somewhere else where it's cooler we're on to the last garden for now that we're um, this is the largest of the ones in the front yard. Um, I got a lot of clearing out to do because this one hasn't been needed for a long time. And then in regards to weeding, this is the last one in the front. Um, I have one that doesn't really have weeds, but it's got a lot, a lot going on in it. And so I'm going to try and clear as much of that out as possible to open it up and give some of the other plants a chance to blossom. invasive in our area so I am going I was thinking about leaving them but then I looked it up and found out they're invasive 
and I don't want invasive plants in my area, in my yard. I want to work towards getting more native plants. Yes, I'm going to have some stuff that is not native to this area, but if it is something that is going to kill off the stuff I want and hurt the things I need in this area, I don't want it. day um, and I finally came out to our vegetable garden and our corn is doing amazing as you can see behind me it is getting really tall this is actually bigger than we've ever had um, I do need to do a lot of weeding but along here we have a bunch of tomato plants that are indeterminate and they're starting to vine along the ground and these sticks are pretty strong but they're just not strong enough so my mom had a whole bunch of metal cages that she is going um, that she gave to us and we're going to take some stakes that we have put those in the ground at some different intervals and probably weave stuff in between them who knows I'm gonna figure it out but we're all we're using all stuff that we have here at the house so let's see how this goes other camera actually died so I finished up what I needed to do and I'm just gonna show you um, what we did is we took all these stakes right here and we put these cages that my mom had and that she would use and piece together to protect some of her plants we put those and we kind of wove them up top and then I have these tomato clips right here that I have all of the tomatoes down this entire line hooked up with. I can actually walk now in our path. So I'm super excited about it. We already have a bunch of tomatoes growing right here. I believe these are our ba uh, berries crazy tomatoes. Um, I'll have to look it up, but we're slowly getting there and we got all the way around to this corner with the cages. This right here, these are our tomatillos, this line. I'm gonna have to get something to kind of trellis those up or find some more stakes and stuff and do that because those are gonna start leaning and some of the, these other plants um, are starting to lean. So I'm gonna have to do that in here. But these tomatoes, I'm really excited about. This is one that we bought the seeds for that were seeds that somebody found that were over 50 years old. I believe 50 years old and I got tomatoes already down here let me show you like look at that they're tomatoes so I'm really excited about that because those are ones that for me were the most exciting um, we got cages on our tomato or our tomato plants down this line we got almost to the end over there but I ran out of stakes and stuff so tomorrow I'll have to go and either find stakes or I might just 
bite the bullet and pick some up. Um, I think I talked about it, but our corn in here is doing really well. This patch, tomorrow I'm going to come out. I have the next couple of days off from work. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to come out and do a really good weeding of the whole vegetable garden. And all of this corn is now about a foot tall. So I'm going to get the peas planted there. Our other pea plants are pretty much done. I'm letting them kind of dry out on the bush to save the seeds, but we don't have enough seeds, so we'll save. We'll still have to buy some. Our onion plants are doing really, really well. So those are gonna go. These, our garlic is probably, I wanna say it's ready to pull. Oh, I found a couple more garlic scapes. Um, but our garlic is actually ready to pull, so we'll pull that. Our potato plants are doing super well. They're getting super tall. So I actually need to come out and remound them up. We have potato plants along this edge. That's one right there. We got another one here. One is kind of buried behind this one. Those need to get mounted up. This one already has flowers, which means it's already producing the tubers. And all down here, I need to do some weeding and get the potatoes mounted up. But these ones, are doing so well. These need another good mounding on them. And then yeah, slowly but surely this garden is producing a lot more than it did any other year. I do have some lettuce in here that's growing. It keeps kind of dying away and then coming back. So I'll weed in there to get that cleared up and I might, since I have some open spots, who knows, I might put some more lettuce or something. But our chickens are happy because they're getting lots of weeds and treats right now. So they're enjoying all. Even our babies are learning that we uh, we take care of them pretty good. So the mamas are still kind of bullying them, but they'll get there and they're learning because they're coming out with right along with adults to meet greet us. So tomorrow I will be right back out here weeding. I have some more weeding I want to do in the front. So this week before I leave on my trip for a conference. I'll be coming out and weeding and I'll be bringing you guys along right with me. So I'm finally out in the potato or in the vegetable garden and I had hoped to come out yesterday. However, a storm came through and I got some of them already staked up, but you can see the tomato plants are bent over pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm taking stakes and clipping them um, up until I get some more heavy duty stakes to hang up some of these um, wires but I mean it knocked over some of our corn it knocked over some of our potatoes so that is my goal is to get th that done get it cleaned up get some areas weeded and then I'm probably going to also clear out the garlic patch um, because those should be fairly close I might wait until tomorrow though because it's not supposed to rain or anything anymore but I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow on those just because the ground is quite saturated actually, so. are just the firewood stakes that you use when you're 
cooking up s'mores and stuff like that. Now this bed looks a lot better. It looks like a jungle still, but it's a lot better than it was. So now I'm gonna finish up along the outside of the fence over here. I think you guys can see it outside of the fence over here. We're gonna finish that up and then
keep up to date on what is happening at ZB Farms. Bye.